not science. Yeah, they're not real needs. You know, they need it down there. It's got to be. They want it. <laughs> and they need it. And they have yeah. a plan for it. I don't know everything about these locations down there. Because of what it is, yeah. 
for the uh, Wildwood project substantially complete, uh, saw it uh, Friday in really good shape, uh, quite an addition to that community. Uh, Striping should have occurred yesterday. I uh, kept it up to see if that might be on the product. So that uh, project is uh, really nice. Yes, that's right. Very nicely done. And I did not get one complaint about traffic controls, just so you know, normally we get several. So Good contractor did a nice and job up in the lot, so it was very pleased. Obviously done the next school year. Uh, just want to alert the board here. Uh, we're going to be doing a number of traffic control monitoring stops in basically all the community areas. This is the spot cars and crosswalks and try to tune those up. So that's going to be occurring here very, very shortly. So that's uh, throughout the, the town. That's not overall striping, it's just the control monitoring. That's thermoplastic uh, uh, stuff that we're doing. And, uh, you'll be seeing them very shortly. Uh, Jim, just like, uh, um, any idea about the completion on the East Camp Bridge? I was out there with your staff the last week, and it looked like they were very, getting very close. They had some painting to do. Uh, they were putting in the guardrails at that time. Uh, I was informed of my constituent this morning that it's still not open. All right, they're still working on it. Uh, just, uh, I've seen they're working on the rails. I think that's such a thing pretty much accomplished. I'll get an update on that. I haven't heard that. Okay, so I think as a veto's out there being the uh, resident engineer on the project, basically. And I think that one's getting... It was very close to the expected to pave last week, and I understand that that didn't get done.
evaluation process that is done on the Right, because this is just evaluation. That doesn't have anything to do with that. Right. I just wanted to make sure that was on there. So there's a big motor board, see what we're going to add in. Tracking on the gas evaluation, they're going to have a little bit, even though the price of gas is down there. Seen new activities last year. Then the last time the property, that's a uh, property in Twister County, you do for uh, you know, that property that has gone down because of the market values less than the issue that you keep track of those two. Wayne, under the state assessed column, mm -hmm. um, we've gone up from 105% in 07, and I assume that could be that down all the way to 104%. Um,
state only in the facility, uh, the maximum is like $72 million. So we're, we're pretty close to the, to the state cap, I should say. Uh, what do you do? My only question was, after the rate, it says include language to require more resolution for future increases. Was that not in the one prior? Okay. And that, for the moment, that was a suggestion from county council's office to the sheriff's office, so that as the rates increase in the future, there's no need to do this two-step ordinance change. That they would just bring a resolution with the substantiation before the board. Okay. So, I will move the first reading. Second. Uh, Mike, do we still house uh, U.S. Marshals folks in trust? Mm -hmm. um, we currently do not. Uh, when we updated this uh, agreement. Uh, we did so because uh, they called asking for uh, beds. Uh, shortly thereafter, a uh, neighboring county uh, opened up a whole wing for them. And they take, we take the inmates back and forth, sat on the court on their bus so they could not much stop. We'll house one or two every once in a while. Uh, uh, I know, but I recall years ago the, the bus used to stop here on a regular basis. No, not like that. No. Okay. And, and I don't know how many. At the rate we're going, we're probably not going to be inclined to do very many of those type of inmates in our population, which is a full house. Yeah, we're, we're growing every month. Yeah. I have a question there. Um, I noticed that you did this cost study in 2009. Um, that's already three years past. Will this ordinance basically help? I, I don't know what it takes to do another cost analysis, but. It, Pretty lengthy and um, time consuming, but uh, not that much has changed to what's in the one right now. But in probably in the future, we probably would have to uh, do it again. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, Mr. Hall, I'm going to
Contact number 00106-4013. And this is under the 24 to put the two house and 12 hands by the time that was done, they were no longer available. So we couldn't buy the two house and 12s. Which we were kind of proved pretty useless. So basically, it was at the end of the production cycle by the time the approval of the board came through in the 2012s, we couldn't get to the 2012 hands. So we had to go to the 2013 hands. Because if I used 2012, it was more than that. And we didn't have to go to 2012. Well, no, the, the, to buy on the 2012 and our production, to buy a used 2012, that price was higher than buying a new 2012 when they had the 2012. <laughs> Don't, I can't explain the numbers, but that's, <laughs> um, and that was the reality of it. So what we need to do is go back out to the bid in 2013 to have the money to do it. Uh, and I did have one Friday where I had four vehicles to go down and all of them three hours. We have a lot of old, we have one that over here, we have another one that got one tire, um, and another one that the key didn't work, that stuck because that was the actual van we were trying to replace, that we were having to replace the ignition key because the key won't sell in, and that has 147 miles on it. So, new way, new very set by 30 meters, but we'll help. Supervisors Missouri, Hart, Hart, Dan, Marshall, and Evans. Hi, that's my boy. Once I went to all the board now, we now have a fully equipped three day of time. How many years? Ever since the building was built. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it actually does work. So, all right. All right, we'll just start. Okay, 10 30 or 9 30, public hearing. Department of Public Works proposed a hearing to consider second reading and adoption of a proposed ordinance of the Supreme Court Supervisors granting a countywide pipeline franchise to the Pew Warehouse Company. Consider approving second reading by title only and adopting a proposed ordinance of the Supreme Court Supervisors granting a countywide pipeline franchise to the Pew Warehouse Company, Incorporated, authorized to share a sign ordinance and direct the court to publish and post the same. The, uh, this franchise uh, the second evening covers a four inch gas line and basically it's about a mile south of uh, Maxwell. It stands for lower line and approximately to kind of drop in about a two mile length of uh, pipeline and put this uh, franchise agreement to the gas line. So that's important. Okay, we'll open the public hearing. Anybody wish to speak to this? Anybody else opposed to the public hearing? Thank you for it. Move for approval. Move by Marshall. Move by Marshall. Sorry, by Andrew. Any discussion? Roll on. Hi. 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 We are to meet some needs, but we'd like to obtain a little value to get out of it. Similarly, there's other equipment, and uh, but we'd like to really also hold on to as a useful purpose. So this graphic is a Richie. I think we'll go to Richie's and see if we can get out of it. It's surprising what we've been able to do with the auction. Uh, we've had uh, all the vehicles that have over $3,700 for a vehicle that have no value to be totally off for us. Some of the vehicles that may not benefit us and if they have an option coming up, I'm sure they will be allowed to get this down the same concept. So moved by Andrew. Second by Clark. Any other discussion? Roll call. Supervisor Andrew. Aye. Clark. Aye. Dan. Aye. Marshall. Aye. Ken. Aye. 
Anatomy basis and operation training is signing further set August 15th at 10 a.m. to receive an open seal bid from the director for public support staff. This is us. Well, we started a couple of years ago. Okay. So, with my long term set plan period. Roll call. Thank you.